Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Lori and if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and join us over here. Before this vlog starts, we're going to start out with a little story that I hope helps someone. We're going to start off with a little, little slow note and end off with a, a, you know, a little laugh. So, here we go. Hey, my survivors, I thought I would come on camera and tell you something that I was not going to originally share because it is a little bit personal. But hey, this is my channel and I'm here to actually help people deal with things that they might not feel comfortable with sharing with people. So when I share with you guys my breast cancer story, um, I'll try to put it in the cards if I can remember. That was real personal, but it helped people and I saw that through the comments. So I'm just going to come on here and tell you guys about the latest thing that I've been going through as a female. So as you see in the title, um, I've been having some hair loss due to the C19. Now, I didn't know that this was happening to me because it is an after effect of having the C19. Um, I have always had very, very thick hair and it has been shedding tremendously and coming out a lot. Um, I was in denial about what was happening until this recent time where I just washed my hair and started combing it and just like it's still the same amount of shedding for like a month not shedding but falling out like the whole strands of hair not breakage but coming out the whole thing the whole hair the whole long hair coming out in the sink the brush all over the bathroom when i am combing my hair yeah, okay it's like first i lose my breast to breast cancer then i had to have a full hysterectomy to prevent further cancer and now my hair it's like what more is left of a female when you don't have your breasts, you don't have your insides, now you're losing your hair, it's like, wait a minute. So I was losing it a little bit, but I had to turn it around. I had to do the Lori thing, I had to turn it around. Look, it's not the end of the world, you still have your life, you still Lori, you still out here trying to help people. Be confident in whatever they look like, whatever they feel like, whatever they're going through. So it's just hair, right? No, it's not just hair. It's it's the icing on the cake. Like what more can you add to life? What more can you go through? But I'm here to tell you, you can still go through more. It's nothing, you know. But anyway, let me show you what I'm dealing with. So my hair still looks fine. It still looks presentable to the naked eye or whatever. But let me just show you some breakage or whatever. Let me show you some. It's like, see? See that? That's all gone. It's a big chunk right here missing. And then there's the back. All these little... Okay, wait. <laughs> Like just the back is all broken off and short and then there's the top there's the top little pieces and stuff and it's all through but you know it's mostly this side and the back and um, it just it just took me what three and a half years I've been showing you guys my growth rate and stuff it just took three and a half years to grow my hair from shaved like this this little and now it's fully you know growing so 
the question is i guess through um looking up these videos and stuff from people going through it i didn't even know that that was happening but i see on tiktok there's hundreds of videos of the same thing it's an after effect you don't lose your hair while you have the c19 it's a few months after so it never clicked to me that that's what was going on so needless to say i just move on from here it's just telling you to take care of your new growth now you know get the massage oil massage and stimulate the new growth so what happens in this stage is that the growing cycle turns dead and that's why you lose the hair so it's fine it'll all come back you just got to deal with it i'm not gonna shave my hair i'm not gonna cut it off because it's not that much that i'm missing but my hair is tremendously thinner my hair was so much fuller than this so much fuller but I think I can deal with it and just um, deal with the new growth coming in. If it doesn't happen more, I'm not going to cut it off. But if it continues to shed more and look thinner and just be see-through or something, then I'm going to cut it off and start all over. My question is, should I get a protective style, meaning braids or wig or whatever, to go through this cycle or should I just leave it I don't know what to do if you've heard of this happening to somebody you know let me know in the comments what I should do because I don't want to keep pulling it and tugging it and combing it or whatever to cause further loss so pat on the back for me sharing that because I didn't want to see y'all Latte, so. yes. Hey, you've been getting a little bit of bags for a lot of money. I'm in love. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It is time to get this out. That gray. I see that. I see that. It's time to get that out with the dye that I showed you from Target. I'll show you again that and yeah time for the gray to go mm -hmm. In the back seat, please. Have a great day. Thank you. You as well. Yay! We got our cereal. Hey, you been getting a little bit of bags for a lot of money. What happened to grocery prices? I'm having technical difficulties today. Nothing is going right. For her today I'm irritated the paperwork not in right at my job I gotta run around with this boot on and try to fix stuff it's just a lot I'll check in with y'all later when I'm in a better mood Take me to go shopping in Paris or go sailing overseas and just drape me in Gucci, no matches. All I ever.
Still got some of my other family size too. Mm-hmm. Sure do. I got another drink to try, y'all. I'ma find me a drink. It's called Cacao Almond Latte. It's called Papa Bottle. It's by Papa Bottle. What is that? I don't know. It's say a new way to latte. And it's plant powered. So it's a vegan friendly. Plant powered, no refined sugar. So I'm about to try that, but I learned my lesson with drinks like this to put some skinny syrup in it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna pour it over ice. And yeah, see you later. I think I need some creamer in it. It is a latte, so yes. Show me some love, kisses, and hugs. No, I never had an issue. Go to the club with your boys, baby. I never wanted you to stay. Don't love just that's good. So won't you say good morning? It is Thursday and today we gotta go see about our eyes. Eye appointment, yearly eye appointment. Um, yeah, so the lashes are off, so I could put my eyes in that thing. Like, read line number 11, ma'am. I can't read that. Read line number 12, mm -mm, can't read that either. Help me, help me. <laughs> no, I had that eye surgery years ago, but you know, it's been over probably 10 years. So, let me see what they say. I don't know if this thing wears off or what, but that's where we're going. It is so cold. It was 60 degrees yesterday and it's like zero degrees today. I don't know, but that's a part of living in Michigan. So yeah, wish me luck on the eye appointment. 
2020 vision, but I still need readers for close up because um, 40 and up, you just need readers no matter what. You just no stopping it. LASIK eye surgery, nothing will stop that. Your eyes will start to go at 40 and up. It's what he explained to me. So I'm like, okay, if I gotta read something close, I got the little glasses, but I can see 2020. <laughs> Yes. Hey y'all. Happy Friday. It is what time? 1.13 and it's snow outside y'all again. We can't catch a break. It was just almost 60 degrees. Now it's it's 25 degrees. Yay. Yay for us Detroiters. We the real go over here. Weather is not our forte at all. But yeah, I'm up making some impossible sausage. Low carb tortilla and honey puppies. And the puppies always near. But yeah, making me something to eat real quick and I'm about to go take care of some business real fast and then who knows? I'll talk to y'all later, though. Y'all, we on a late night caper. We gotta go to 7-Eleven to get our package out the locker. It's 12.30 at night. Hi, huh, Miyaki. You gotta protect me in these streets this late. Miyaki, excuse me. Look, look at the camera. You don't care? Can you protect me tonight? We gotta go get our package. Okay, bye. All right, mission accomplished. We got our package. Here's Miyaki. <laughs> move, move over, bacon. So this is what me and Miyaki picked up. It came in this package, and it's my slap cap to protect my hair. So it's um, just this black little knitted cap, and it has satin on the inside. So I saw it on. Um, Aaliyah's face channel and Kyra. Uh, it's been out for so long. I think I first seen it a few years ago with Nicole Murphy, I think, wearing it. But yeah, you can use it as like styling it with a um outfit. I'm trying to cover that up. Style it with an outfit. Can you see her? There she go. A little bit. It covered her face up. But you can wear it, you know, walking outside. It looks a lot better than a bonnet to me. So I invested in this. And it is from Amazon. And it was, I think, $20. Yeah, there's that. Are you, are you stalking What'd me? What'd you say? Are you stalking me? <laughs> Excuse me, no, no paparazzi. Let's see Amari new core. He got to clean it, but it's fly. I had to be first. I wanted to be first to see it before y'all see it. Look, oh, he think he's doing it big. Look at the Tesla screen. Ain't no Tesla the screen. Te <laughs> <laughs> She's so much. Say hi to the survivors. Hey, survivors. <laughs> Did y'all miss me? No. <laughs> Come on over to my channel, too. Y'all go follow him, because, you know. So, y'all, enjoy. Mar is always talking about he needs to get rid of all these socks that he has. 
like, what are you talking about? And then that time will pass. And then he'll say it again. He's like, I got to get rid of all these socks. So today I popped up on him to see his new car. So while I was there, I was like, let me see if you got rid of those socks. Did you get rid of those socks? Let me see your collection. <laughs> and this is what happened. Y'all ever seen somebody with too many socks? I'm gonna show y'all who got too many socks. Wait a minute. That's who got too many socks. Let us see your sock drawer. No. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <What? laughs> Let us see your sock drawer. You are a hoarder, Amari. <laughs> look at, look, he had 400,000 pairs of socks. <laughs> All right, that's enough here. Blow the whistle. Some bitches and I let the fire light the way